Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is going to be a collab and it's been a little while since I have done a collab and it's gonna be with my friend here on YouTube, Jessica Korch. And I hope I'm saying her last name right, but of course we share the same first name, so we're all good there. <laughs> so we decided for our collab, we're gonna just share 10 of our favorite beauty items from the Dollar Tree. So before we get into the video, I would love to ask you to subscribe and hit that bell, especially if you love Dollar Tree oriented content. I will have my entire Dollar Tree playlist linked down below if you wanna binge watch more videos like this. And of course, if you're coming here from Jessica's channel, thank you so much for checking me out. I appreciate it so much. So let me tell you a little bit about Jessica. And of course, I wanna encourage you to go check out her channel. She does a lot of Dollar Tree oriented beauty content as well. So definitely, if you like those videos of mine, definitely check hers out as well and she is just a sweetheart and you can tell she is very knowledgeable she gives her honest opinion and that just really reads through the camera so I just love that about her very personable just that girl that you're friends with you know what I mean she really just comes across as like a friend on camera so when I stumbled across her channel I just instantly liked her so in addition to different types of Dollar Tree content Dollar Tree beauty content just Dollar Tree you know things you can buy at the Dollar Tree she does a lot of different affordable beauty as well just using drugstore products and all that good stuff you know elf and ColourPop all that kind of thing she does favorites videos she'll test out new makeup so any type of content like that Jessica is your girl definitely go check her out you will not be sorry and the last time I checked she's still under 200 subscribers and I know that was one of the hardest 100 subscriber stretches was from 100 to 200 so let's go over there and get her kind of through that 200 she deserves it she's wonderful and I think you'll really like her content so Jessica thank you so much for doing this collab with me and I'm so excited that we're getting to do a Dollar Tree collab together because I know we both love it so so much so I will have her channel linked down below in the description box definitely go check it out as well as her Instagram so definitely give her a follow on Instagram so when you go over there definitely tell her that I sent you and show her some love so if you want to see what my 10 favorite beauty products are from the Dollar Tree, definitely keep on watching. So this is, you know, makeup for the most part, but also a couple other like beauty type products as well. And it was really hard to narrow it down to 10. I'm not going to lie. It was really hard. I easily could have came up with 15 or 20 things that I absolutely love and that's just of the things I've tried there's still so many things I have not tried so keep that in mind as we go forward with this video and this is probably something I will be able to do again in a year from now with maybe some different answers so I'm allowing myself three honorable mentions and the reason why I didn't want to include them in my 10 is because everybody loves these things Everybody knows they're amazing and so so I wanted to give them an honorable mention because obviously they are in my top 10 but I feel like they're such a given and such a beloved favorite I wanted to find like the next 10 items and then one of the items I, can, I have never been able to find since I purchased it a couple years ago so I don't want to include it in just because I don't know if you'll ever be able to buy it at the Dollar Tree again so those three items are of course, the LA Colors highlighters, which everybody loves, especially the Shine Bright shade. But I do have both shades, as well as this one here. This one was given to me by my friend Dee Dee here on YouTube. It's from the Beauty Through the Decades line that LA Colors has. And there's also a couple products in this list that are from them too. But it's really great. The quality of these three LA Colors highlighters is amazing so I think we all know how amazing these are so I did not want to include them in my top 10 as well as the Ioni lashes you know these are just hard to come by at the Dollar Tree just because everyone on YouTube loves them so much then the third honorable mention is I think this was a sassy chic product but I found this about two or three years ago and it's a spa headband and I purchased it and it's well loved it's good hair and grossness on it but I purchased this after being really disappointed with a turby twist one that I purchased it went around your head and velcroed and it was way too big for my head and I spent I don't even know how much money I spent on it then I found this at the Dollar Tree and so so yeah these are some honorable mentions because I've never seen these again in the Dollar Tree or on the website and these are just known beloved favorites so now I'll get into my top 10 so kind of I already kind of spoil alerted 
spoil alerted. I already did a spoiler alert. So I have not actually personally have seen these at my Dollar Tree, but these again were a gift from my friend Dee Dee. We did a Dollar Tree swap last year. I will have that link down below. But um, we swapped some things from our Dollar Trees to each other and kind of unboxed them on camera. And she sent me these. And when I tell you these are the best LA Colors eyeshadows, they're so, so good. Um, and I've never seen them, but they are amazing. If you see them at your Dollar Tree, pick them up. They are these LA Colors quads, and they are also from the Beauty Through the Decades line. And this one is in rosy and gold and cranberry color story. It comes with two mattes, two shimmers. And then this one here is Fab Four, and it just got the beautiful turquoise, and again, the mattes and the shimmers. They are so, so stunning, you guys. Let me just kind of swatch. I have done an eye look with this one here and I will have it linked down below as well. Gorgeous. And I kind of did, I did better with my swatches on this one. Look at that though. I mean, these, they're just absolutely amazing. So definitely if you see any LA Colors quads, because I think LA Colors from time to time will have different quads, definitely give them a try. These are absolutely amazing. At some point, I really hope to stumble across some other color stories of these because they are so, so good. Then the next item, and I passed this over for years and bought LA Colors because I just didn't have a lot of faith that this brand and this blush would be good. But it's amazing. I have two shades, and this is my favorite shade of the two. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. But it is the Color Mates blush. You've seen them at the Dollar Tree. You have probably passed over them too. But first of all, you get a really nice pan size. This is the shade Sunkiss Tan. And I also have like a mauve shade. And they are so good. The pan size, like I like the LA Colors blushes too. But you get a smaller pan size than you do with this. I just feel this is a very legit size pan for a blush and it's for a dollar I mean it is just it's just amazing it doesn't go on patchy or anything like that there it is on the back of my hand and as you can see I'm wearing it on my skin right now it is just and this shade in particular is just stunningly beautiful so if you've been passing these over for the longest time like I have definitely give them a try and these are in no particular order by the way I'm just going down the list so the next item is makeup brushes. For the face, the only brushes that I've had good luck with have been like the Wet n Wild, but usually you can only kind of find this shape right here. It makes a good blush brush or like a contour brush, but it's a little hard with bronzer because I like a bigger brush, but those are really nice. But for me, what really stands out are eye brushes. And I've got a couple different brands here because I really do like a lot of, so I've got three Wet n Wild brushes here. And this is just the all over shadow, just a really nice all over shadow brush for a dollar. Then I've got this little, it's, I think it's the name of it is a small shadow brush, but I use it for my concealer for shaping under my eyebrows. It would probably be really good for shimmer shadows, putting, you know, really going into the shimmer shadow, spraying it and really packing it on to get a really vivid shimmer on your eyelid. And then this other one that I really like, and this is, this is the Smoky Liner Brush. Mine is well loved. And this is great for lining under your eyes with shadow. And then I'll take like a slightly fluffier brush and just kind of buff it out a little bit and smoke it out. But yeah, these Wet n Wild brushes, as well as a couple from Sassy Chic, and they've got the really cute little animal print handles. And this one here I love to use for like putting shimmer under my brow bone as well as concentrating um, a shimmer on the inner part of my eye. And then this one here is a really tiny little detailed precision brush. Really good for like the inner corners, putting a little shimmer on the inner corners or I'll use like a liquid shimmery shadow like a Stilla or something like that and really kind of go in with some detail. And then I can't remember if this is a sassy chic brush but this is kind of like a bigger version. I use this for shimmers all the time. Then this one here is doesn't have a brand name on the package. I've just come across them, but they've got these beautiful handles. And this is just a larger precision brush. I reach for these and my IT brushes all the time. So yeah, I really, really enjoy these brushes from the Dollar Tree. So definitely if you see some like Sassy Chic or like unbranded brushes like for eye makeup stuff, definitely pick them up. They're, I find them to be really good personally. 
So then the next item, and if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you know this, but I love this LA Colors Brow Pencil. It's got the little brush on the end of it, and this is dark brown. I do have a backup in a lighter shade, like a medium brown. And a lot of people complain it's a little bit warm. I don't personally mind that. I feel like once I put my makeup on, it doesn't really matter. But I love it. It has just the right amount of tug where I don't mess up my brows very easily. I don't like a pencil to be too creamy. If you like a pencil that's creamier, you probably will not like this, but I really, really like this eyebrow pencil. And they have a really good shade range. They get everything from black to blonde. They don't really have a red, but since it does tend to pull a little bit warm, you might be able to get away with like a medium brown or something like that. But yeah, I personally love, one of my favorite things from the Dollar Tree, and out of all the brow products I've used in the last year, this is my favorite. So another favorite product of mine, and I'm getting ready to use, I'm actually getting ready to test out some new makeup in which I will be trying a new eyebrow product and a new blender sponge that I've never tried. But right now as I film this video, I really like the Sassy Chic Blender Sponge. A lot of people complain that they're too hard. Um, I find when you wet them, they literally double in size. I feel they get really soft. My only complaint is that sometimes it's a little hard to get into like the inner corners. I usually use a concealer brush anyway for that area. So I have purchased a few of these now and of course I replace them frequently and I just really like these. I don't feel the need and I've also used the Beauty 360 brand and I've used the AOA Studio brand and then another brand that Ipsy sent me a while back. I don't find these to be inferior at all. I know a lot of people get a little weird with their blender sponges and there's a lot of different preferences but for me personally I think I have the charcoal infused one. It's by the Sassy Chic as well and it looks a little bit more pointed so I'm getting ready to try that one too. So I may just love all of the Sassy Chic blender sponges so I personally really like this. And then another recent find of mine and I've already used the heck out of this. I actually just took it out of my laundry basket because I've washed it a couple times already is the Sassy Chic makeup removing cloth. As you can see, I, I've got a little bit of makeup on there from previous uses, but of course it washed up pretty well. And these are fabulous. They're a little smaller than, actually I've got one right here that's damp because I just did my makeup. This is the Erase Your Face brand. And of course it's bigger, but this works just as good. For a dollar, you absolutely can't beat it. So if you're on the fence as to whether or not you think uh, it doesn't work or it does work, or I've never tried a product like this and I want to try it out before I buy something more expensive, definitely give this a try. Definitely, I was so excited in a recent haul when I found this, because Dollar Tree just never ceases to amaze me and what they start carrying. Like, they've just, they've gotten fancy. I actually did a video where, you know, I talk about all the fancy products you can get, things that like, it used to just be the most basic of things, now you can really get things that are being made and being sold for way more the fancier stuff, you know, at the Dollar Tree, and it's just amazing. So I am loving this from the Dollar Tree. And of course, if you've been on my channel, you know my story with the color switch. I'd become aware of one through my friend Ebony here on YouTube. And just as I became aware of it, before I went out and bought one that was much more expensive, I stumbled across one at the Dollar Tree. And so it comes in this tin, and so it comes in this little tin, and then you open it up, and it has this spongy surface that you just swirl your brushes on. You can change shadows if you don't know what one of these are. And I usually find I get about three or four months out of one. It does start to soften over time. This is actually a, a new one. And then you take this out and you can wash it with soap and water and dry it and it's good as new. So yeah, amazing. This was another thing that when I saw it in the Dollar Tree, I just freaked out. I was just like, I can't believe that they are selling these and that I haven't yet spent more money on one and I always have several backups of these and I've given them as gifts and I put them in giveaways all the time because I just love them. Definitely one of my favorite products from the Dollar Tree. Then the three last items. I love a lot of LA Colors lip products. They've got a velvet lip mousse, they've got lipsticks, they've got moisturizing lip glosses, but my favorite are the Plump Gloss, and this is actually my favorite shade. I own three different shades of these, and this is my favorite. I don't know if it really plumps your lips, but the gloss itself is just gorgeous. They all smell good. I love this shade. You know, it's funny, because sometimes I will feel a tingle 
on my lips and other times I don't but these are really lovely they're not sticky just a really nice lip gloss and definitely my favorite from the Dollar Tree and then the last two items are face products you know in Dollar Tree as we know sometimes we'll carry hard candy or it will carry some specialty Maybelline products or Wet n Wild or Flower Beauty, but they're kind of, they kind of come in and go. You know, they kind of come in and then they're on to a new brand that they're kind of getting closeouts from, from probably other stores. So I tried to include things that I've seen over the years at Dollar Tree, or that I feel will stay at the Dollar Tree. So I tried to pick like Dollar Tree's more evergreen brands and products for this video. So there's a lot of Sassy Chic, there's a lot of LA Colors and all that good stuff. So the last two products are the Sassy Chic Moisturizing Foundation. I wear the shade medium. For the longest time, I really liked their BB cream, and I still do, but when I tried this and used it more, I like this a little bit better. And again, one of those products I didn't give much credence to because I do not like LA Colors foundations that you get at the Dollar Tree. So I didn't have high hopes for this, but for me, this is better, much better coverage. But yeah, I love the Sassy Chic. The Sassy Chic face products for me win hands down over the LA Colors foundation any day, both the matte and the regular liquid makeup. So yeah, this is my favorite foundation. Aside from the Wet n Wild coverall, which I recently found and used, that's really great. And if you find that, definitely pick it up. But kind of for an evergreen Dollar Tree item, this here is my favorite. And last but not least is setting powder. And again, I picked up some Wet n Wild setting powders like the Photo Focus, the Coverall, and they're great. But something that you can find readily available are LA Color setting powders, and they're good. They've got one that comes in a black container, and that one's really good. They also have a loose one that is really very good as well. But my favorite LA Colors setting powder is this one here with the clear cap. And this is the shade Light. And so yeah, this is my favorite setting powder. It's kind of my go-to setting powder, quite honestly, out of all of the setting powders that I have. This is really my favorite. So yeah, definitely if you've been passing over the LA Colors setting powders, give any of them a try. I have had really great luck with all of them. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see what 10 of my favorite beauty and makeup items are from the Dollar Tree. If you enjoyed this video, show me you did by giving it a big thumbs up. Also, do not forget to go check out Jessica's video and Jessica's channel. I'll have her information linked down below. Definitely go show her some love. And I'm excited to see what her answers are. Also, don't forget to check out my Dollar Tree playlist linked down below and binge watch all of my Dollar Tree oriented content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.